Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Do have some very troubling news coming out of Kaliningrad uh, over in Europe there. Russia's coastal ballistic missile system, the Balk M3, uh, has been put on combat readiness as of today, August the 31st. 2017. Uh, it's very troubling news and it might not seem like that big of a deal. We know that NATO uh, is also doing a counter drill, going to go into that in just a moment, uh, doing something in, in basically in retaliation for Russia's drills that are going on with Belarus's starting up Zapad, the Zapad exercise, uh, a drill that is done with uh, Russia and Belarus on a regular basis, but this being the largest such drill that has ever been done with Russia and Belarus, including uh, tanks, air, uh, and of course, sea combat readiness that they're preparing. So there's a lot of concern that Russia may do some type of preemptive strike on Europe. That is some of the fears that Europe's, Europe has been having. Uh, but let me tell you what's really caught my attention and the reason why we've titled this uh, Russia anticipating possible NATO preemptive strike. It's not just because of the uh, uh, Kaliningrad, their system, the Balkan systems being put on mili uh, you know, readiness, uh, uh, military readiness there, but we see another news that just came out. Conflict News was posting up a statement by Heather Norrit, a spokesperson there. This is for the U.S. government achieving party and diplomatic missions. The United States has fully implemented the decision by the government of the Russian Federation to reduce the size of our missions in Russia. We believe this action was unwarranted and detrimental to the overall relationship between our countries. In the spirit of, of uh, uh, <clears throat> partiality invoked by the Russians, we are requiring the Russian government to close its consulate generals in San Francisco and uh, uh, Chancery Annex in Washington, D.C. and consulate annex in New York. These closures will uh, need to be accomplished by September the 2nd. Now, I think that's very interesting. It's been tit for tat, back and forth, diplomats being expelled, uh, different offices being closed, both in the United States as well as in Russia, both sides carrying out these actions. The United States started this first, uh, and then, of course, Russia for a long time did not do anything about it, but now they have been ensuing the same types of action. Now, Russia said they would not follow suit of canceling the visas as the U.S. did for any uh, Russian foreign nationals, uh, but Russia has kind of held off on canceling visas for Americans that are visiting Russia. So it's very concerning. These are type steps that you see that take place right before something pretty bad ends up taking, uh, taking place in the world. So trust that that's not going to be the case. Uh, as I go on those, uh, Jens Stoltenberg, the Secretary General of NATO, he is saying that Russia, said this last Friday, that Russia should be transparent about its military drills. Uh, especially that with Belarus. And they're thinking that Russia is planning on being there permanently inside of Belarus. That could be possible. Maybe the Belarus, uh, Belarusian government has asked Russia to be there, especially with so much military drills going on in and around their borders as well, with NATO troops building up on Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, uh, and even that of Poland. And also more and more NATO forces continue to pour into Ukraine. So that would pretty much put Belarus surrounded unless Belarus did have some help as a backup there. But the military drills that NATO is conducting in response to the Zapad exercises are uh, on international relations inside an analysis. 25,000 troops take part in the U.S.-led NATO military drills in Eastern Europe. Now, Russia claims they put 13,000. So as we can see, clearly, NATO is planning on doubling the amount of forces that they have in response to Russia. But of course, NATO is also stating that they believe that Russia is upwards to, to 100,000 uh, troops that are involved in these exercises. That may be very well true. So if that be the case and Russia is underestimated, perhaps NATO also is underestimating their numbers and maybe they are 200,000. Uh, I can't really say. We don't know for sure, but it's certainly a troubling situation and we certainly pray, especially for those in Europe, that this does not turn in a southerly direction, as we tend to say in the south in the United States. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Be updating you more later today. Shalom.